the homelands and they recruited men to come and spy for them and these men would find the ANC members and kill them and burn down their shacks. And of course when the ANC found out about this, crossroads became a war zone. It was a no-go area. Hundreds of people lost their lives in crossroads. So lots of them fled the violence and moved further north to a place called Kayalicha. And Kayalicha means new home, okay? They fled the violence and they went to start a new home. And today it's the biggest black township in the Cape. People say about a million people who live in Kayalicha. Yeah. So I just want to go through the housing process with you. I said their names are on the waiting list for a house and when their name does appear on that waiting list, they'll have a choice of three homes which they can purchase, right? 30,000 rand. Now we saw the homes that they rent in, in Langa. They, they rent the home until they are able to purchase homes, eh? So if their name does appear on that waiting list, they'll have a choice of three homes which they can purchase. 30,000 rand, 40,000 rand. 50,000 rands, that's what they must pay for the homes. Now you may tell me, Basil, such a high unemployment rate, how can people afford these homes? Um, yeah, this, yeah. Um, the government subsidizes 40% of that house, so for a, a 30,000 rand home, they pay back 18,000 rands, and they've got between 15 and 20 years in which to pay off that loan. Their repayment, about 300 rands a month, that's about 35 US dollars a month. Now, folk, everybody can afford a 300 rands a month, eh? Nobody gets a free house, otherwise the whole South Africa is going to expect a free house here. Yeah. We've had 3.8 billion of those homes built across our country in the past 15 years. A very small two-bedroom brick structure, kitchen, dinette and a bathroom and it comes with running water, toilets and electricity. Just to start in life for them much better than the shanty. So if they want to build on another room or two, they may do so. If they want to move to another area, they may do so too, yeah. And then finally, just to give you the figures of Cape Town, Cape Town has got a population of 5.2 million people, 80% living townships, <laughs> and of the 80% living in townships, 90% are staying in brick homes and 10% are still staying in shanties. Yeah. If you drive past the shanties or the, the freeway, you'll see all the shanties on the outskirts. And like I said, total new world unfold eh, when you go right into the townships. And later on I'm going to take you into the townships and just to show you some development. You won't believe that you're actually in a township itself here. Yeah.